Welcome back to the Highlander Summer Series. And again, we're focusing on the hardwood with men's basketball. I'm Matt Province, and really privileged here for the first time as part of the NJIT family to welcome in out of Tacumbo, Bakari. And uh, you're a North native, so congratulations on getting to NJIT. Thank you. Thank you. I got to ask you, obviously, uh, the opportunity, I'm sure, to play Division One basketball was very exciting. But for you to be able to play in your hometown where people have seen you, people who know you, describe that feeling to be able to do that once the basketball season gets underway. Yeah, so I believe that it's a blessing I'm able to play in my hometown just because I, I can be seen as a motivation for younger black kids in my community. And the fact that um, I'm so close to home that I can bring a fan base on a regular basis, like I'm bringing I'm up the fan base around a little bit here. Around here. And I, I feel like the fact that we have a divisional program in the heart of our city and like gyms are packed, our gym isn't packed out as enough as it should be. I feel like I could bring that to the team. So I think that it's a blessing I'm able to play division one for my hometown for where everybody can see me. Yeah, I think it's great. And I like where your head's at because to get that, that the, the WEC full with people, especially when they, the people that they're rooting for who they know personally, but you obviously had to make this decision and talk a little bit about what you thought when you saw the WEC and the amenities that are offered to the division one athletes. My first time going into the WEC was actually when I went on an unofficial visit around, um, around last year, last, around this time. And um, I loved the place right off the jump. Like I thought the place was beautiful. Everything was new. I seen the um the, the where they were working out at the gym, the actual core. I think that like, it was all beautiful. I think this like this is a place I wanted to call home, and I just felt like with everything that was there, I felt like it would help me just for the it would help me just for the fact that I'm be able to get better every single day just because of the the motivation it gives me by the new course, the new gyms. And just make you want to work harder. Yeah, from what I understand, from what I read about you, you're no stranger to the weight room, right? You believe in hard work. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> now talk about your game because I have not seen you play personally. There's some videos up there. You had a very good career at St. Benedict's under Mark Keller. Uh, played for the AAU team, the New Jersey Roadrunners. Uh, Sandy Pionin, obviously, you have two very good coaches to learn from. So I guess from one standpoint, I want to ask you to find your game, and then I'll talk a little bit about how it evolved underneath those two coaches. Yeah, my game mostly was moving off the ball, setting up other people to create my own shot. And um, as time over progressed, I was able to add more little nuances to my game, as in pick and roll, as in getting downhill finishing. And so, like, going into my junior AAU season, I thought I was going to be a point guard because I'm, like, at the next level. I got to be a point guard. I got to be a point guard. And um, Coach Sandy was like, no. Nah. And like thing is like we were fighting back and forth actually, and um so like the first um couple the first month or two at AAU he let me do what I wanted and like he sh like he showed me how unsuccessful I was, and then he told me like oh play off the ball more get other people open and watch how your game like expands and like as soon as I started doing that, I was being more productive, more efficient with my shooting the shots I take my field goal percentage and like I talk. I got. I took what I, I was taught from role runners that junior and brought it to my senior year, and I had one of my. I have. I thought I had one of the best seasons out of all the seniors in New Jersey. Yeah, and I think that the coaching staff. I've talked to them. They're very excited to have you, you playing for the team. So you play at St. Benedict's. We talked about you know Mark Taylor. How do you feel either on and or off the court? Someone like that was able to help you get ready for a Division One level. I mean, I think Coach Taylor. He has had a lot of a lot of players, NBA players, high Division One players. He had all types of play, pro players, and like he's taught me to stay consistent and stay ready. And um, at St. Benedict's, I was never recruited, so I had to work my way onto the team. I never left, so I decided to um, I decided to stay. And he taught me the fact that I'm able to be persistent. And be stay consistent during my whole time at St. Mary's is gonna get me ready for college because I know where my head's gonna be at. Uh, definitely helpful. I mean, you mentioned though too. I mean, he, he had uh, Suleiman Diakite, who's part of the program now, mm -hmm. and of course AAU. You know, Coach uh, Pionin had Abdul Lewis, who was a big part of NJIT Highlander history as well. So mm -hmm. I think the pedigree is certainly there. Um, you had some chance to watch this team. What are your thoughts about? not necessarily only where you fit in, but also the way the team plays. What do you like about the, this particular brand of basketball that you see from the guys that make up the Highlanders roster? 
Yeah, I I love the way the team plays. I actually think that the way they move the ball so quickly from side to side on the court, I feel like it's so effective when attacking defenses. And um, especially where I fit in is that I like to move without the ball. So, like, being able to set other people up to get myself open, I think that my the, the way the team plays and the way I play goes hand in hand. But I also love the way we have a lot of great basketball players on the team. And we have a lot of great talent on the team with Zach Cook, San Antonio. I feel like with that, like, experience and that talent on the team, it can help all the new guys, especially like me and Makai, like, fit in and um, feel comfortable. Yeah, it's interesting. There's going to be a really nice mix when you have some senior leadership. You have some very talented uh, newcomers as freshmen, a couple talented newcomers that are transfers. Like, really excited to see this team all come together. Now, of course, we're, we're all wanting to see that because of the current situation with the COVID and, yeah. and quarantine and, and restrictions and all that. But what have you been doing most to kind of get yourself both physically and mentally ready to participate as soon as we possibly can with this upcoming season? Yeah, so every day I've been uh, – what do you call it? Um, Coach Robert Fix, he, um, he sent us a strength and conditioning program. I, like, I made sure I followed that um, program to a T every single day. And um, I wake up every morning at 6.30. I run two miles every morning. And then I get right into um, the strength and conditioning. So, like, I have the rest of the day for myself. And then I go to work. Like, I actually work at, at Lowe's at Route 22. So, like, just having that mindset, like, yeah, I'm on a schedule every day. Like, oh, I got to get this done. And then I got to get – I got to go to work, get that done, got to get my money and make sure everything's good at home. Like, I feel like my – like, every day I'm setting myself up for success when I get to actual college because I know – how to time manage and what I need to do at a time. That's an excellent point. And I always marvel, you know, traveling with the team for so many years with the, with the high academics that you get at NJIT to balance that with the high level of athletic participation at a division one level. You have the right mentality for it. I like to hear that. And it sounds good that you're getting yourself uh, equipped mentally for this next challenge in your career. Um, before I let you go, anything about yourself, uh, any passions away from the game of basketball about your personality that, Maybe some of the, the fans would like to know. Yeah. Now, personally, I just feel like I'm an easy person to come to for anything. I'm also very, I'm also very outgoing. So I'm with anything like um, you're gonna see me when I'm at the I'm on campus. You're gonna see me with all types of people. You're gonna see me with the soccer players, with the volleyball players, with the um, any every sport or it doesn't even matter. Like you're gonna see me with the guys who like computers or who like to make robots. Like I like to get to know everybody just because like. I want to know. I want everybody to know who I am when I go somewhere, and I want everybody to feel comfortable with me on campus, no matter who it is. I want to like at St. Benedict, they taught me how to like we, everybody knew each other. So I want to have that same. I want people to have that same impression of me. Like, oh, everybody should know me. I want to know everybody at the school. So it, it's like more of a family feeling for me. It makes me feel more comfortable. Yeah, I mean, from hearing you talk, what I was gonna say, it's funny because that's the that's the mentality for NJIT. I mean, we have such a great diverse community on campus. And uh, obviously, both the academics and the athletic life, you know, being able to fit in, I think, is a, is a good way to go about it. And I think it's going to help build the, the brand of the program, get more people involved, and more people you touch personally off the court want to come see you play on the court. And as you said in the beginning, the more people we get in there cheering for the Highlanders come you know, start of the 2020-21 season, I think we're all a lot better for it. Um, Zay, I appreciate it, man. Thanks so much for the time. No uh, keep a good summer workout regimen going. And I uh, really look forward to seeing your game on the court as soon as we get back onto the hardwood. Thank you. All right, that again, out of Tacumbo Bakari, uh, freshman coming in for this 2020-21 season on that province. We want to thank you for watching this edition of the Highlander Summer Series with the Men's Basketball Focus.